What are audience signals in Performance Max? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. There's actually four different types of audience signals that you can use in your Performance Max campaigns. I'm going to go through each type of signal. So make sure you watch through to the end of this video. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe. All right, let's go dive into my account and we're going to talk all about audience signals. So here we are in our live Google ad account. And as mentioned, we're going to be talking all about audience signals in Performance Max. So clearly we would go into our existing Performance Max campaign and you'll find your audience signals within your asset group. Now in this particular campaign, we've actually got more than one asset group. So each asset group has its own audience signal. So depending on how you've set up your Performance Max campaign, you might just have one asset group or you might have multiple. Okay, so audience signals essentially are data that you're kind of giving Google to help them, you know, get more information about who exactly you want them to show your ads to. All right. It's essentially your targeting that, that you are give, telling Google, right? So rather than not giving them any targeting and say, go Google, go away and find me customers or leads, you kind of want to steer them in the right path. All right. So the idea is that you give them really good audience signals or targeting so that they can show ads to people who are more likely to either become leads or customers depending on your business if you're doing e-com or lead generation etc so there's really four different categories of audience signals that you can do the first are custom segments all right so these if i hover over this little question mark uh, they're now, this is a new terminology just to confuse you, but essentially these were previously called your custom audiences. So these are kind of like a build your own type audience. So you can give Google a bunch of different keywords and websites that people might go to and you give all that information to Google and ask them to build an audience around that. So that's called, it's kind of like the custom audience or custom segment. So that is one type of audience signal that you can use. The other type of audience signal is based on your data. So if I once again hover over this, this is your remarketing audiences, your customer match, which is where you upload your database um, of your customers, engagement audiences, like from your YouTube channel. So this is all the people who really previously interacted with your business in, in some way. And as you can see for this asset group, we've got that as one of our audience signals here. The third type of audience signal is uh, interests and detailed demographics. So this would be Google's, you know, predefined categories of in-market audiences, you know, life events, etc. So you have no control over uh, these categories. These are predefined based on, you know, data that they've got on people. They put them into these very buckets of, of targeting. Uh, and so this is sort of, um, yeah, so Google's predefined audiences. And these audio, so this is, I would guess, the custom segments would be, you know, a build your own type of in market audience. Okay, so these are the predefined ones. And demographics is obviously, um, you know, gender, age, household income, parental status, etc. Okay, so those are really the four types of audience signals you can do. Some people really advocate having one type of audience signal per asset group so that you can get a sense of the data and the performance of that particular audience segment. Because if you mix different types together, so for example, in this one where we've got retargeting audiences mixed with in-market audiences, the performance from this asset group, you won't really be able to know, was it my retargeting audiences or was it the in-market audience or which even which particular in-market audience was really driving the results. So depending on how granular you want to go, uh, you might kind of want to just do one audience signal per asset group. Okay, so to show you real quick how to create a custom segment, you can just click here, you can go plus new segment. And the idea here is you give it a name and you can put in all these uh, converting search terms or kind of keywords that you think your audience would use that you can then type into Google to build your own custom um, segment. So for this particular business, they sell beard products. So you might say uh, beard kit and just go comma, that would add it. So um, beard grooming and see what auto suggest uh, comes up below. Beard, uh, best beard, beard care products. 
beard care pro um, beard care products best beard care brands and really they're giving us kind of ideas beard oil they also do beard oil so beard oil we could do here and add that and I would suggest the more data you give Google, the better. I would add kind of at least 15 to 20 keywords here and uh, you want to give it as much data as possible. And you can also expand your segment by include, including people who browse types of websites. So you could put in your website as well as your competitor websites here. Okay, and then you give that segment a name. All right, this is definitely one of my preferred type of um, audience signals to use. Or you can also use this one and also, um, you know, I think these, this one is a little bit less focused targeting versus this one. If I just cancel that. Obviously, you can create your own um, audiences. You do that in the audience section in here. Um, you can't actually create your audiences from here. And to show you the in-market audiences, if you browse, uh, we can go to these categories here here are the in market categories and we can kind of go through subcategories etc or life events these are all the different life events um, and detailed demographics parental status affinity and then you can choose uh, your various if um, audiences I could just type in beard here and this will find me uh, these you know um, in market audiences that are probably going to be buried really deep somewhere in okay i'm just going to get rid of that i didn't want to do that and also demographics we could also um put in additional and we can kind of maybe deselect female if we want etc okay those are your audience signals in your performance max campaign and yeah let me know if you have any questions